Everybody loves speed and everybody loves talking about power upgrades for their Saron. But eventually, if you plan on staying alive, you're gonna have to bring that beast to a stop. So that's where brakes come into play. You need good brakes. And unfortunately, the stock Saron brakes are not good brakes. But fortunately, they are easy to upgrade. Come on, bud. Let's go. So today, I'm gonna show you three cheap, simple, and effective ways to upgrade the brakes on your Saron. This is another Infosol production. first upgrade is simple, sintered metallic pads. You can pick them up for less than 10 bucks and they drop right in. So forget the $50 Shimano pads with the silly cooling fins. This upgrade is so simple, cheap and effective that you've probably already done it. So let's move on. The next upgrade is just to simply buy better brakes. Shimano, Magura, Hope, and a few other companies make excellent four piston brakes. Personally, I chose Shimano because they've been the performance benchmark in downhill racing for about a decade. And I chose their cheaper Z brakes instead of their flagship Saint brakes simply because the Zs offer the same braking power without the little fiddly external adjustment. And on a Saron, it's really all about braking power. So let's go ride these things. So what did I learn? Well, first I learned that I can't ride single track and speak coherently at the same time. I also learned that Shimano brakes are a huge upgrade over stock brakes. They have more power, instantaneous engagement, and you're just using a single finger on each lever. But while the power is good, it's actually the ergonomics that make these an awesome upgrade. Simply put, these levers feel amazing and there's zero chance that I'll ever be going back to stock levers. The third upgrade is for DIYers like me who want top level performance at a rock bottom price. So what I'm gonna do is make a hybrid brake with Shimano levers mated to stock Saron calipers. And just to make this a really cheap upgrade, I've chosen the $70 bottom of the barrel Dior levers. Um, they're definitely not fancy, but the cylinder size is identical. The levers still have the same awesome ergonomics and this new lever design actually has a, an additional contact point that stiffens up the feel. So I think this could be really good. You'll want to throw a new olive on there too. That part is Shimano BH90 insert and it's about two bucks. So what's the verdict? Well, the 
hybrid Sermano brake doesn't feel quite as crisp in the engagement. And I don't know if the difference is in the, the cheaper lever or the Saron caliper. Um, but it doesn't really matter because out riding the overall power is about the same as the Z. Um, or it's close enough that I didn't notice a difference. Um, in fact, I'd say the Sermano, the the Franken brake has a slightly softer engagement that gives you a little more modulation. And of course, the levers just feel awesome. Same as the Z. So I'm really impressed with this setup. I didn't expect the installation to be quite so straightforward and I didn't expect the performance to be so close to the Z. So overall, great success. So to summarize, you can do a pad upgrade, you can do a full brake upgrade, or you can make a hybrid Sermano brake. And I don't think I have to tell you which ones stand on my bike. It's the Franken brake, it's the Sermano brake. Because for only $90, including the pad upgrade, you're going from the crappy stock brakes to top-notch braking performance. And what more could a guy ask for?